I get a lot of comments on my videos about my dresses, girls wondering where I got them, where they can get them, and sometimes just saying they're nice. And it's really flattering, and I can't really reply to every single comment, so I figured, why not make a video about it? So fellas, apologies in advance, this one's for the ladies. Before I go into the specifics on these dresses, I just want to say a couple of things. Firstly, I am not a fashion guru. What I do know is what suits me, what suits my body type, and what I like to wear. And that's so much more important than anything going on in fashion. If I could give you one piece of advice, it would be don't try to follow trends just for the sake of following trends. If it doesn't suit you, it doesn't suit you. Let it go. And as a teenager, this can be a really hard thing to grasp. I remember wanting specifically to wear belly tops like the Spice Girls and those short check skirts that they wore in Clueless. You're gonna want to emulate the girls that you think look good and, and hope that it makes you look good too. And sometimes, it doesn't. I was kind of a pudgy kid. Belly tops? No. And short check skirts? Yeah, fine if you're Alicia Silverstone, but these are things I can't really teach. A lot of you watching won't even have your full figure yet, so it's kind of hard to tell what suits you until everything lands. And when it does, it makes things a lot easier because your shape sort of stops changing and it means the clothes you bought two or three years ago probably still fit you, which is nice. The other thing you need to know is that every woman, regardless of age, regardless of size, has things about her body that she doesn't like. This is just true. If you're like that and there are parts of you that you don't like and that you'd rather hide, that's pretty normal. That's okay. Similarly, pretty much everyone has something that they do like about themselves. Find your thing and show it off. Don't tell me you don't have a thing because you have one thing. You have one really lovely thing, at the very least, that you should be showing off. So what are the bits that I don't like? I hate my arms. hate them. I have this whole sort of bingo wing thing happening and you may say that they are not that bad but it doesn't make me feel any better. I also have pretty wide hips and thighs. I've got a whole kind of thing happening. And not in a really cool Beyonce she's dancing around and she looks awesome way. They're just yeah. What do I like about myself? Well my hips might be wide but I have a smallish waist and the fact that my hips are wide actually makes my waist look a little bit smaller. I also kind of like my collarbones and shoulder area and the bottoms of my legs like my ankles. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm fat or I need to change. I don't need to change. You don't need to change. You just need to feel good about yourself. And if in order to feel good, what you need to do is, you know, kind of hide away those things you don't really like and accentuate the things that you do, then do that. Wear things that you feel good in. Not that some size zero model looks good in on a catwalk. Something you feel good in. I cannot stress that enough. So let's go through a couple of these dresses, shall we? First up, this little number. I wore this in a collaboration video I did with Alexa Losi a while back. I had it on with red lipstick and my hair tied back. I got it in River Island, I think it was £45 at the time, but it's actually in the sale now for £20, so go get it if you can. What I love about this dress is that it's got a little sleeve, so it hides that bit of my arm that I don't really like. It's got a nice full skirt, so it kind of covers those hips and thighs, and it also comes in at the waist, so it accentuates that as well. And I fell in love with it so much that I got it in navy and again with a pink floral pattern on. This one I wore in an episode of Unnecessary Otter and got quite a few comments on. I find it really funny actually that people comment things like, oh my god that dress looks so old, it's totally Unnecessary Otter, hilarious. Um, I wear this uh, a lot. This I wore in my video with Tom Law where we did a cover of a Laura Marling song. I felt it was kind of a folksy dress and would go with the song. You can see up close it's red and navy with these sort of red and cream sleeves which are great for the summer because they're nice and light but they still hide your arms if you want to. It's long and it's got a sort of full skirt. I'm an absolute sucker for a full skirt. I don't have a link to this one either but go to River Island. I got it very recently. You should be able to get it there still. This is a lovely summer dress. I wore this one in my video with Bri Bri. It's just beige with little black spots and a nice full skirt, it's A-line, but again it comes in at the waist. It's also got quite a wide neck, I find round necks are awful on me. You can see up close these sleeves are quite lacy, so they cover your arms a little bit, but without being too much. This is a great summer dress, really nice and light, and I feel really comfy in it, while being kind of glamorous at the same time, which I love. This one I got in Primark 
don't turn your noses up. Primark actually has some really good bargains. So this again is sort of a nice light material as you can see there and it just hangs really loose but what you can do is put a belt on it. So again you're showing off your waist but with having all this sort of fullness in the skirt. A nice wide neck as I said, round necks just do not suit me and I quite like my collarbones so this shows them off. If you are willing to show a bit of shoulder and arms but you still have issues with your hips like I do then this one is a great one. This is made by TFNC London, you can get it on ASOS for £35. It's a short little one with a sweetheart neck and are you guessing that I like polka dots yet? Because I do and it also has this gorgeous full skirt. It's got loads of material under there so it feels really swishy. Listen, I just love dresses that swish! And last but not least is this dress I'm wearing right now. I had this on in my interview for Becoming YouTube actually. You can get this dress from Yummy for £45. I don't have a full skirt in this one, I'm getting my hips out for once but it's a nice sort of heavy wool material so I feel tucked in. I'm all mad for the light sleeve so it does cover your arms but without being overbearing and also it's got an owl on the booby. Look at it go! And finally I can't believe I'm doing this but I get a lot of questions about the lipstick that I wore in Becoming YouTube. I can reveal it's called Matte Ruby and it's by MAC. It's a very dry product so you need to make sure that your lips are nice and moisturised a good few days in advance if you're going to wear it otherwise they get all kind of cracked and weird looking. But if you wear it right it's very glamorous. I'd also wear that with a red pencil because it's kind of hard to do the outline. So there you go, Hazel's first haul. I hope it felt as weird for you as it did for me and uh, to all the men out there who thought you wouldn't enjoy this I did say boobies. Until next time, please subscribe if you want more, and please tweet me on Twitter if you want to talk to me. In the meantime, it's at the Hazel Hayes. Until next time, slam.